The 90 Day Fiance today, it was off the chains. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on? Let's just talk about the scene where this guy last week, if you remember very well last week, the guy, Ed, Ed asked this girl to do the, um, the STD test and what are you thinking, bro? Like, are you, like, why are you rushing these things? If you really wanted this girl, you shouldn't have asked her all these lots of questions and something like, especially when you are in her country. You don't, you're not afraid that something was going to happen, that she was going to dump you there or what? But at the same time, I'm thinking maybe this girl really is after money or is after some sort of a credit card or something. You know, she doesn't seem like she's really woke. And I will, I, I think that, I don't really think she knows more about the like, cream card and stuff like that. Or maybe she just want to come to America uh, and get married to Ed, Mr. AKA non -Ed. It's just crazy how the, the, this is, this is, this is the scene where I just realized that this is, man, that's just crazy. That's just, that's just, the shit does not make any type of sense. Who does that? Who does that? And then, and then, he kept texting this girl saying that, oh no, I'm sorry, da, 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 da. please come meet me at this freaking restaurant. We're just gonna, you know, we, I need to have a talk. You know, this girl is like, you know what? I feel like she should have stayed at the hotel at least wait for like two or three days. And then after that, meet with this guy. Because I just don't understand why, like it, it, it just happened so quick that she just decided that, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk it out. And then he apologized and she just accepted apology. So simple, so easy for her to accept the apology. I mean, come on, like this person was suspecting you from having some sort of some STD and shit. And you're just gonna forgive them easily like that? Come on, bro. Like Rosemary, like what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on with you, girl? Come on. You like you just can't do that. Like some of the, some things are not meant to happen. If this relationship is not for you, it's not for you. It, like y'all just call it quits. That's it. I I really think that they were not supposed to like she was not supposed to forgive that quickly. You know I understand relationships and everything, but the way she forgave it was so fast. What brings you guys together is love. You guys were hitting up each other and I just don't understand how all of a sudden it just turns out to be like that. Let's move on to um, another uh, scene. Lisa and uh, Soja Boy. Lisa and Soja Boy are a disaster. I I'm thinking of Michael and that girl from Atlanta, that, that old lady from Atlanta. But l l let me tell you something. Lisa, I feel like Lisa, Lisa is really looking for a really, really a valid relationship. Lisa is looking for legit. Lisa wants to go legit. But this guy is looking for a shortcut to come to America. Let's just be honest. He said it before. He literally said it that he doesn't have a connection, the physical connection with this girl. He doesn't really have it, but emotional and physical connection, he doesn't have. It's just like, you remember that the scene that they said a couple of weeks ago when he went in? When they, when they were, the, one of the producers was asking him about uh, like if they had sex. He was like, okay, the kind of person, that, um, me and Lisa, we are basically, um, I love Lisa, blah, 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 and this is not the kind of girls I dated before. Um, basically, she was saying Lisa, he was saying Lisa was fat, and then Lisa was old. And basically, he's not really physically attracted to her. He said it. He said it. And I'm pretty sure Lisa watches this. And he, she knows that and she's seen that scene. And I, I feel like he's just trying too hard to come to America to boost his career. And that's okay. But don't do it fraudulent way. It's never going to work. It's never going to work. So they go on this plane and complaining about everything she literally flipped the mattresses and there was like a box on top of the box and she was like what this is a box this is a and she was complaining about everything honestly if you've been never been to africa you just have to appreciate the life that people live there you don't have to complain about everything you know i do understand your situation you you lived in america you've lived a blessed um affluent life when we compare you to the people in africa but please do not keep judging people like stuff like that you know like it's just you complaining about everything but what was funny is when they went in the freaking shower and there was a little black bucket in the freaking shower and she goes in there and she's like they got a freaking bucket in the freaking shower what the hell is that for and it was like baby love this is for that shit took me out it, 
I'm looking forward to watch this, this to watch two of them because I feel like those are the people that actually bring the views, to be honest with you, because it's so much drama that's going on, especially that involved. Anytime it involves an Nigerian or something, it's always high rated. And Soulja Boy is like a celebrity. Did you see when he was performing? And that lady right there sitting at the corner blushing and everything. I was like, oh, baby love, you are not about to get on this ride. This song is not good at all, Soulja Boy. We give it zero right now because at this point, for you to do some edits and cut off the model, it was just disaster. Moving on, let's move to another scene. Darcy. What the fuck is wrong with Darcy? To be honest, I feel like Darcy still likes this guy, uh, Francois. Darcy still likes Francois, but right now I feel like she's acting for the cameras, to be honest. I feel like she's acting for the cameras. The way she's doing everything, I understand she spoke to her to her sister, her twin sister, and their friend, and she was so confident about, you know, facing this guy, telling him that listen, I'm not about that life no more. I'm moving on. I'm not about to cry in front of you. You'll be tossing me like a dirty rag, and I'm 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 about to move on with my life right now. And good for you, girl, for standing up for yourself. But I feel like you still like this guy. You are just doing this for the cameras at this point. Or you're just doing it because your sister said this and your friend said this. To be honest, you still love this guy. You said some things about him. Literally, when this guy texts you and he was telling you that he's on the way to New York, he wants to meet you, you boom, text so fast. Like, literally, like, you were so fast to respond. That and you come with your luggage and everything, you are ready for sleepover. You are ready for that sleepover. Mm -hmm. You are, and I can't wait to see another scene because the, the way you walked in with the great entrance that you did, bitch, you, you really looked like you were up to something. You, you, you were there to impress that guy. I, I know, I'm sorry, Darcy, I love you, but at this, this time, I feel like, well, I, I'm so happy for you that you managed to stand for yourself. You already, you told him that, no, 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 this is not how it's going to happen. But I feel like you've just been fake inside. You just want to um, impress or you're just acting for the cameras. Let's just be honest. We're going to see on the next episode because right now I am super tired and I'm going to bed. I'll catch you again next week with another episode of 90 Day Fiance Review and I will be...